Alright everybody, welcome back to Cool's Book Reviews. Today we are checking out Sam Neill's Did I Ever Tell You This? A Memoir. Now this is obviously written by Sam Neill. And I do apologize if my voice is hoarse at all while going over the review I've been getting over a cold. But yeah, this week we're checking out this one and it's one that I've had on the docket for a little bit. It did take a while to actually be able to find a physical copy and then I actually started reading this. I remember talking to James Mills who's our buddy from Australia who wrote Bandito Simpatico the book about Billy the Kid and I was like I was gonna read this one book but instead I decided to read Sam Neill's because I wanted to read something good and fun so here we are let's uh let's get into it and look at the book first and then we'll get to my thoughts. Alright so let's take a look at the cover itself up top, obviously, you got the title, Did I Ever Tell You This? by Sam Neill. It's a memoir. Right there, you got a picture of Sam. As well as this quote, Hilarious, wicked, wonderful, kind, thoughtful, engaging, and wise by Stephen Fry. On the side, you got Sam Neill, Did I Ever Tell You This? As well as the publisher. And on the back, you got some more quotes just endorsing it. There's our good old friend ISBN. This one clocks in at 397 pages. And though it is a chapter book, you can see throughout you got picture sections of different things going on or different people that Sam's talking about. There you go. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the book. So getting into the book, it is uh, written more like a conversation. So I guess perhaps visualize you are sitting with Sam Neill somewhere and he's just talking about his life. Now some people I think have kind of dogged on the book because it's not that beginning, middle, end type of thing where it goes in a linear path. It does kind of jump around, but he wrote this during... I guess his chemo sessions or while he was taking his chemo treatments uh, he would just kind of sit down and pen different things and some chapters 20 pages other chapters two or three pages it kind of just depends on the subject matter uh, but I always thought it was kind of refreshing never felt hard to read and always looked forward to jumping back into it come away from it re feeling like I read something special you know I haven't done too many like celebrity or movie, I guess, biographies or books written by stars outside of, and most of the time, if I have gone into like a James Dean book, obviously he didn't write it, and so it's, it's very interesting to see, you know, the personal thoughts, especially going through something like Sam was going through, but also the journey through film and how he felt about that you know there'd be movies that a lot of people hadn't seen that he really enjoyed making there are bits about like Jurassic Park or Deep Horizon some of the bigger movies um, that people may know about him from but then there's different ones about his family I mean there's pictures like you saw throughout a couple times where it's like his father but I you know, if it didn't have that caption, you'd probably think it was him. Because they do, I think, share a resemblance in appearance. Early on, you do see some of the things that interest him. And one of his was archaeology. He did talk about Newgrange, as well as architecture. There's quite a few different chapters that bring up architecture and his love for it. Even just designing houses. The passion he had for the designs and what it meant to him. Again, it's very neat at times to just get inside the psyche. Other times, maybe certain chapters, people will be like, hey, I didn't need to know so much, but hey, it's unfiltered. And I guess I think that's some of the charm to it. He also has a love for cars. There's a discussion of him owning a Porsche. And like I said, of course, there's going to be a lot on acting and the preparations and how he felt sometimes. You know, he talked about he completely felt appalled with what he had to do on screen. And other co-stars, you know, had to help kind of coax him into doing it and making him feel okay doing it. Other times he had a great blast doing something. So I, I think it was fun. 
Uh, there's also, you know, rugby stuff in there, and I think overall it's a uh, fun read. It's not too long, it's just shy of 400 pages, and I don't know now, it might be easier to get when I got it. It was still early on, and, and while we could get like a Kindle in America, it was hard to get a physical copy, but hey, who knows now, maybe it's changed. I do recommend it. Overall, I would rate it about a 7 out of 10. I I enjoyed it. There was, you know, parts that I could see people not enjoying or just thinking maybe it's too much information, you know, TMI. Uh, but overall, I did enjoy it. It's fun reading about Sam. He was very candid. There was a lot of good intel about different films and I did take some notes as far as different movies that I want to uh, check out now because of reading this. So yeah, I I enjoyed it and honestly, like I said, I had that conversation with James Mills from Australia about picking this versus the other book. I can tell you I enjoyed this more than the other one. I don't want to bash the other one, but this was a good choice and uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from here. We got quite a bit of different book ideas, so. Until next time for more Cools book reviews, click that link to your left. For more about us here at Cools Paranormal, click that link to your right. And don't forget to hit that like and give us a subscribe. And let us know, have you read Sam Neill's book? And is there a celebrity biography you want us to check out? Tell us in the comments below.